Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. What V want, a technology vlog for, how to videos, tips, reviews, and many more. Want to upgrade Windows 11 to new HDD or SSD without any trouble? Then this tutorial is for you. In this tutorial, I am going to show you, how to upgrade Windows 11 to new HDD or SSD. Without any delay, let's get start. Step 1. Install a new disk. It is a very simple task to install a new disk on laptop. The new generation laptop supports two or more hard drives, while the old and slim laptops allows only one hard drive. If you are using the new generation laptop, then install the new disk in the drive slot and make it useful easily. If you are using the old generation or slim laptop, then there are two ways to install new disk. One is by replacing the DVD or Blu-ray drive with the new HDD or SSD. Another one is by replacing the old drive with new drive. These are the steps to install new disk in laptop. Let's see for desktop. Shut down the device and take the new drive from the drive box. Prepare the new drive. If it is already prepared, then remove the screws on both sides of this disk. Slide the drive bays into the screw holes on both sides of the new drive. If it is an SSD, then you will need to add a special mounting slot or a drive adapter. Remove the computer case. Slide the new drive into the computer case next to the old drive. Now connect the new drive to your computer motherboard with the SATA cable. Plug in a power cable to power on the drive. Close the computer case and reboot the device. That's it. After the completion of installing new disk onto PC or laptop, move to the second step. Step 2. Initialize the disk as GPT. EasyUS Partition Master is the best tool to initialize the disk to GPT. Download the EasyUS Partition Master application from its official site. Check the description for the link. Launch the EasyUS application. Select the installed new hard disk. Give a right click on it. Select the Initialize to GPT option from the drop-down menu. Now click on the Execute operation at the top. A pop-up window will appear on the screen. Click on Apply option and tap on finish button. Now the disk was initiated as GPT. After the completion of initialization, all the disk space remains unallocated. It is impossible to use. So you need to turn that unallocated space to usable space. Give a right click on the unallocated space. Pick the create option from the menu. Adjust the partition by moving the dots to right or left. Go to advanced settings. Change the file system option as NTFS. Choose the drive letter partition label, and many more. Click on OK. Now click on the Execute Operation button at the top. A prompt will appear on the screen. Finally, click on Apply. And tap on Finish button. That's it. Step 3. Migrate Windows 11 to new disk. EasyUS Partition Master is the stunning application to migrate Windows 11 to new disk. Download and install the EasyUS application from its official site. Link is provided in the description. Launch the EasyUS Partition Master application. You will find all the disk information on the screen. Tap on Migrate OS option. The Migrate OS window will appear on the screen. Select the destination SSD or HDD. Click on Next. A warning message will prompt on the screen. Check it once and click on Continue. Source and target disk layout will be displayed on the screen. Click on the down arrow beside the target disk layout. You will find three different options like auto fit the disk, clone as the source, and edit disk layout. Select the one you want to customize the target disk layout. Finally, click on proceed. That's it. Step 4. Set the new disk as boot drive. Restart PC and press F2, F12, Dell keys to enter into BIOS mode. Go to the boot option. Change the boot order and setting OS to boot from the new disk. Click on Save and Exit option. Finally, restart the device. That's it. Once the completion of the process, log into your account and use the device on the new hard drive successfully. For more information, visit our article. Link is provided in the description. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if it is helpful for you. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for more interesting videos. Click on the bell icon to turn on notifications.